All right, QBR versus Sunderland. Um, obviously, it's 12 o'clock, something like that. I'm going to head to the match in an hour and try and get some stuff filmed before um, I go into the match. But yeah, I'm very excited for today's game. I was expecting a loss, but it's getting closer to the game and I'm now thinking we could nab a draw, we could even nab a win here. QBR don't have their striker, I believe. Um, and we're on the back of obviously a 3-2 win. They're also on the back of a 3-2 win. Um, but I'm just thinking it's at home, it's at the Sol. The QBR fans aren't too confident on this game. Um, and a lot of us are convinced we're going to win it. So if we do end up winning it, I'll be chuffed a bit. Um, but I will not be unhappy with a draw or even a loss to a certain extent. As long as we don't get absolutely battered. Um, and it is a close result. And also ignore the voice. Um, <clears throat> it is a bit... Is a bit sore, my throat. But anyway, however, lads, we'll get into um, the match now. We'll get to the stadium, whatever. All right, I've left the gaff. Ignore the fact that me hood up, uh, me hair is a mess, and ignore the fact I've got a jacket on. I promise I'm not a tool. Um, I just, I don't know. I don't know why I wore a jacket. It is boiling. I didn't expect it to be this hot, and it's. I've gone past the point of no return. But yeah, I've left the gaff, and I'm off to Uni Metro. Uh, but yeah, I'll tell you when I'm there. <laughs> Alright, I wanted some peace and quiet, so I've got me behind me, me seat. Um, on the flight, I'll basically show you. But at the back of the studio. Um, but yeah, I basically wanted to say you couldn't hear us back there. I've got here so early, I'm waiting for people as well. Um, I should have just came with them. I thought I'd get here early, record the players and that, then forgot to record the players, went in the concourse, had a pint by myself. Like, I'm, I'm very sad. And also, someone did spot us, someone recognised us, so I'm very excited about that. That's me and my day, to be honest. So even if we lose, um, but yeah, I'll, I'll feel like, like, Yeah, so yeah, I'm basically behind the ground.
I'm starting to think, maybe, I might actually go up there. I'm not even joking. No, I, it's, it, it's a load of waffle, it's a third game of the season, but there's a chance. I was sorry, it's time to scoring, and we've got a good defence. We do, well, and Sims and Corey Evans is the most man, collective man to look at. The league's ever seen. Right, fair so enough. Thinking, On the second half. fucking awoke and they weren't singing the whole game and soon as they score a goal they got fucking men up to sickle as fuck. Hey, love you. Love you, son, <laughs> right, I'm off the metro. Fuck's sake, man. 2-2. Two, two. I, I cannot believe it, like. And the thing is, right, oh, I don't know, because how can we bottle a 2 0 lead? I'm not as annoyed because, like I said, I would have been happy with a draw and maybe even a loss if we played well. But it's the fact that we were winning and we could have easily won and then we just go and lose. Like, what the fuck is that? I'm very upset. Bit annoyed, but it is what it is. 